Hey, what's up? This is Ross. And um, I have not made a video in God knows how long. I've been dealing with some uh, with some family stuff. And uh, so I wanted to kind of come back with something that was a bit obscure for me to review. And now, I don't know how many of you love John Carpenter, but I... I personally love him. He's one of the best filmmakers as far as horror filmmakers that I've ever seen. He's like Stephen King to horror movies. What, you know, what John Carpenter is to horror movies is like Stephen King to books. So that's what I think about John Carpenter. He's one of the best in the business. His movies are always entertaining. Even the more obscure ones, even the stranger ones, are more are are entertaining. They always give you your money's worth. And this one right here is the first in what is called his Apocalypse Trilogy. Now, not many people know that these three movies are attached, but yes, they are. And these three movies are Number one is The Thing, from John Carpenter, 1982. Alright, the second one is 1986, the, uh, the Prince of Darkness, in which in the same year, he actually brought out, uh, he actually, well, actually, 98, 97, he brought out, um what was it, um, Big Trouble in Little China, so, um, so he brought that out in the net very next year, so he followed that up one with, uh, a really incredible one, too, as well. And then we got a crazy one, which is the craziest, I think, out of all of, all of them, is In the Mouth of Madness. Now, not many people know that these three movies are attached, but they are. They're actually part of his of his Apocalypse Trilogy, as you would call it. Now, we're going to go with the first movie, The Thing. Now, I can tell you right now, right off, instantly, that this movie right here is, like, easily the top two of my favorite of John Carpenter. Now, that and Halloween are my two favorite movies of his. Halloween, I'll give that one number one because it was the one movie that put him on the map. But this movie right here is his best science fiction movie, period. And his best creature feature. This movie right here is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, there really is nothing I can really say any more than anybody else has said about this movie. The Thing is probably the best movie that I have ever seen for science fiction. One of the best I've ever seen of science fiction. It would definitely be one of my top ten. You know, right behind Alien and Jaws. I mean, actually, I like The Thing a bit more than Alien. But The Thing is absolutely superb. It is... I can't really say enough of it. It would take an hour for me to say how much I love this movie. I mean, the acting is absolutely superb with an absolute amazing cast. Um, G G George Hallahan, um, Richard Dysar, uh, Kurt Russell, absolutely, David Keith, absolutely amazing cast, and they absolutely play off of each other absolutely well. 
Now you think that when you see this movie, you never even seen this movie, you think, oh my god, the front cover, look at that, what the hell is that, man? It's just gonna be some bad, bad preacher movie or something like that. Hell, hell fucking no. Hell no. Because let me tell you something right now. The creature is in the back end. The biggest thing about the thing is, is that it plays off of your fears. That's the thing about this movie, is that it plays off of your fears. And let me tell you something right now, is that when you pop this in, or when you see this for the first time, you're going to be absolutely surprised. But I'm not going to lie, you're going to be disgusted as well, because it's got some really disgusting special effects. Especially for 1982, it's got some really disgusting special effects. It's got some really nasty special effects and that's the way John Carpenter and Rob Bottin design them as but let me tell you something right now once you've seen this movie you know several times you will absolutely come to absolutely adore these effects in this film and you'll you'll probably think to yourself why the hell they don't make movies like this anymore the effects are absolutely breathtaking. The way that they made this monster in this film is absolutely... For 1982, let me tell you something right now. They did things that were literally impossible at the time, but they made them possible. So... Like I said, the creature effects are absolutely awesome, but the movie does play on that fear and isolation of being cooped up with, with eight guys, and there's an alien around. And this alien can turn into anything it wants to. Anything it touches, it can turn into. So guess what? You don't know who the hell's who. That's what them so good about the movie is that it plays on that. That's what makes this just a run-of-the-mill science fiction movie is that it plays on that, and then it has this absolutely ingenious blood test scene in there, where it absolutely throws everything at that scene. The ultimate betrayal between these eight guys. Now they got to sit down and take a blood test. Absolutely ingenious. I give it another star just because of that scene alone. This thing I give about five stars. Five out of five stars. Excellent, excellent, amazing movie. We're going to talk very shortly about The Prince of Darkness. Now, this is a very obscure one. Um, it has a very, very, very weird cast. Very weird bizarre cast because it has um, has Donald Pleasance it also has an appearance by Alice Cooper the rock god Alice Cooper yeah that Alice Cooper now this one is very obscure it's about a a team of scientists team of graduate scientists that uncover some kind of dark secret in the uh, in the middle of a, a an abandoned church, and what happens is, is this dark secret unleashes a terror that basically begins to take over, you know, whoever it whoever it comes in contact with. So it is kind of like the thing, almost it's got that supernatural feel to it. So it's like anything this this stuff that they found touches turns people into absolute zombies or some or some kind of apocalyptic zombies or something this is a very good movie very good Ex except of the fact that it's just got a very strange cast I mean come on Donald Pleasance and Alice Cooper now, how in the world would you ever figure they would star in a movie together? Well, I guess, you know, they did. So, then, this movie is really, really good. And I give this about... 
about four stars out of five. Because Donald Pleasance is always, you know, damn good to see to see in. And also the fact that, you know, that this movie is, is like really, it's really good. It's very atmospheric. It's very good. Alright, so in the next video I'm going to talk about In the Mouth of Madness. It's going to be a short video. Talk about it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.